All right, folks, I have just spent about an hour trying to get this stinking microphone to work. I'm using my Tascam. Um, you can't really, probably can't see that. It's the Tascam PR10. I uh, decided to try to experiment a little bit with this way of doing the microphone because the USB uh, mic, not the USB mic, the uh, mic, the, uh, mic that's included on my webcam, which is the Logitech C270, picks up a lot of room noise. And uh, this Audio-Technica ATR3350 uh, is an awesome microphone. It was the Tascam, <clears throat> excuse me, it was the Tascam that was having issues. It wasn't the, the ATR. ATR works great, it's amazing. I really recommend it. I've still been using the same battery. These little, these little bitty uh, 357 batteries, they had a bitty tiny things. I've been using that, the same battery I thought it was the battery, so I switched it out, but it's just something to do with the Tascam. But I've been using the same battery for over a year now. I use this, this battery from my Bluegrass Guitar Essentials course, and I've used it for a lot of videos since then. And uh, it's this thing lasts forever on, on battery if you take good care of it. So anyway, what I wanted to do, the reason I spent so much time on this, what I really wanted to do was go over one of my favorite tools in most valuable tools that I have in my day-to-day -day, uh, life, uh, whether it be work or anything else. And uh, I've got it set to my uh, Bluegrass Guitar Essentials page so that you guys can check out the webisodes. Uh, I'm still you know, working on um, uh, getting those completed as fast as I can. I've had a lot of questions about when it's going to be released on DVD and things like that. And uh, if you're on my newsletter, You've, you've seen an update about that, but uh, once you go to bluegrassguitaressentials.com, this will take you to this page, and you can just click this graphic right here, and uh, it will allow you to um, it will allow you to go to the webisodes. So you click that, and it will take you straight to uh, the webisodes. Okay, so <clears throat> and I know I've mentioned you know the intro pricing and all that by now. You know what all this is, so. I just wanted to have you definitely check out the webisodes if you've if you've not uh, bit the bullet and uh, checked out this course. It's really really uh, very exhaustive and very thorough in all that is available. And if you if you don't hurry and get the webisodes while they're available, uh, the price does go up. The introductory pricing right now is about uh, it's fifteen dollars. So once the webisodes nine and ten come out, this will go up to twenty five. So definitely check that out. Okay. So let's go back to, uh, actually I'm going to pause this real quick and I'll be right back. All right, anyway, back to what I was talking about. Had a phone call, I had to answer. So um, definitely check these out and uh, as far as when the DVDs and all that will be released, um, I am anticipating trying to get that out no later than October, November as far as the DVDs. Before that, I will get out the uh, the full the full course. Once all the webisodes are finished, I will release it as a full course. The webisodes will still be available, and I'll release that as a full course. And uh, this leads me into the tool that I've been talking about that I would like to share with you guys today. Um, before I do that, though, lately I've been having issues with QuickTime with that little control bar, and uh, I finally figured out a way to get rid of it. Uh, if you'll go to, and I just did a search for how to hide QuickTime player control 10.3 which is the QuickTime that I'm using. I'm not recording through QuickTime, I'm recording through Snagit software. Uh, so that's what I'm using. And it took me to the very first thing which was forums.macrumors.com and this is the link right here. If you want to check that out, it's got all kinds of cool little features for typing into your terminal and uh, getting rid of the title bar. Uh, what this is, is what I use to uh, hide this control bar. When it first comes up as a new movie recording, uh, what happens is it shows the controls and you can set everything, the mic input and all that. And when you click on the actual, when you click on this actual area of the window in QuickTime, it uh, it hides it. So now I can click on this all I want to and nothing pops up. So all I've got is this little bitty bar right here that's really, you know, out of the way and doesn't really bother you. Another thing that's really cool is auto-playing the movies. You know, when you open QuickTime, you have this issue of you have to push play every time. So now if you type this in your terminal, it will automatically uh, play the movie for you. So that's that's a cool feature. Um, and you can change this back to zero 
uh, if you want to. And it kind of gives you, you know, instructions about that up here. But anyway, I just want to kind of share that with you. It's pretty cool. I've bookmarked that on my uh, Chrome so that I can always get back to that in case I need to set that differently. Um, as far as I can tell, when you open a video on QuickTime, the, the control players are still there. But when you're trying to record one like I'm doing here, you don't have to worry about that. So that's cool. So anyway, let's get back to the tool that I want to introduce. And that is Trello. Uh, I've already talked about this many different times, but I've never really showed you how I use it. So this is how I use Trello, okay? I'm gonna go over this. It's gonna be a little tutorial of what I'm doing. And also, I'm going to make available the board that I use for my Bluegrass Guitar Essentials course. Uh, as a result of reading Show Your Work by Austin Cleon and some other ideas that Trello was talking about, um, it, it really opened my eyes and I've been wanting to do this for a while anyway and that is release my board to my new my mailing list subscribers and by the time you see this I will probably have something about that in the mailing list uh, if not I'll do that shortly after so that people who sign on uh, later will have time to get that if you sign on this later and you don't have the link to that make sure to uh, when you get your welcome email it'll give you a link to the Google Doc that has every update I've ever done since I started the mailing list. If you go to like one of the most recent, scroll all the way to the bottom and go to like to the most recent update, then it should be somewhere around there. You'll be able to see the, uh, the link. And today is, let's see, uh, today is July the 26th, Saturday, July the 26th. So depending on when this comes out, uh, you can just search around that area on the uh, mailing list. But anyway, back to what we're talking about. Trello is awesome. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you briefly what it is, and I'm going to get, kind of show you how I use it, okay, so that you can get, get some ideas, and, and also show you what Trello recommends to use. They just recently, I mean, I got the information on this not long ago. They just recently came out with a uh, an update to Trello, and I'll go ahead and bring that over here from my other monitor so that you guys can see that. Special announcement, Trello is now part of Trello Inc. Fog Creek, these guys right here, uh, are the ones that developed Trello, and now they've decided to make it its own thing. Trello has their own blog. You can go to blog.trello.com and see their you know updates and different things like that. So it's, it's amazing. I mean, they started in August 2011, and they've really built up this, this, this uh, ability to use Trello. It's awesome, okay? So it's now part of Trello. Over 4.5 million people have signed up for Trello. The amazing thing about Trello is it's absolutely free. Now they do have a paid subscription called Trello Gold. And what that does is it allows you to use a little extra, you know, you can change your background to an actual picture instead of just colors. You can use all these little cool icons. You know, it comes standard with some icons already, but you can use all the other icons if you want to. And what I do is I usually pin it. Since I'm on it all the time, I usually pin it. Like if I unpin it now, you can go to Chrome, and uh, when it comes up, it'll look like this. But if you pin it, it'll come over here to the side, and you can move it wherever you want to, and it always stays open. You don't, you don't accidentally close it or anything like that, okay? So that's cool. So you sign up. It's free, and it shows you exactly what a Trello board is, and this is what one looks like. The Great Kitchen Redesign, okay? Uh, Taco, by the way, Taco's organization, he is the the uh, the husky that's their icon, their mascot or whatever you call it. And I'll show you that in a second. But this is all different things. Each uh, This is called a, um, a board. And this is a, um, a list, okay? Ideas to do, doing, done. That's where you can start out with. And then these individual things are called cards. And you can upload pictures to those cards, and it will show as a little cover image. You can uh, add little comments. You can label them certain things. Name the labels what you want to name them. You can add members. You see members like if you're if you have a team of people, you can drag your members to which part of the project or whatever it is that you want them to work on. You can set deadlines. I mean, this it's amazing. It's an amazing productivity tool. I've already talked about it many many times. But now I'm going to show you how I use it. Okay, so kind of you scroll down. It kind of shows you what you can do. Here's what happens when you get inside of a card. You know, you type your comments, you can add checklists, and it actually, as you tick it off, 
it'll show you what percentage of that that you have done. So you actually see progress as you're working on it. Makes a big difference, okay? So then you got all these other little options over here that you can do. You can copy cards to other boards. You can, you know, duplicate and move things to uh, from list to list. Like if I'm, I'm working on something up here on, on to do and I want to uh, do it, I can just click and drag it over there. Or if I'm within the card itself, I can tell it to move down here and, and tell it where to move it. So it's, it's amazing. And it's 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 uh, usable across all your different devices, and uh, you'll you'll never be overwhelmed with features that you don't use. You have options like uh, 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 calendar, card aging, and voting. Like if I wanted to have a board open for the public to vote which video they want me to do next, or something like I've got a YouTube uh, board open. Not sure if I'll go over that today or not, but if I wanted to have people to vote on what they want to see next, I can uh, open that up to the public to, to vote on that. And that's what Trello does with their own uh, boards. Uh, they have voting and things like that on there. So a lot of people's using Trello, Microsoft, New York Times, PayPal, Google uses Trello, Kickstarter, all these all these things. And then you got business class. Uh, so I'm, I'm, not, I'm not really delved into that too much, but uh, and you can sign up one more, and here's here's the little mascot, Taco, our spokes husky. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in, and uh, I'm gonna log in, and you can see what's going on. Okay, all right. So, um, yeah, let me go ahead and move this over and log in, and I'll bring it back over here in a sec. I usually just log in with Google. Okay. So I log in with Google. I don't. I don't have a separate page. It just syncs everything to, to that. All right. So let's go back over here. Move it over here. All right. So this is what my Trello looks like. All right. Uh, and when you refer people to Trello, you get uh, free Trello Gold months. So you don't have to pay for it. So there will be a link below that you can click on. That when you sign up for Trello, and as far as I know, you don't have to buy anything. You just sign up for it, and it earns me Trello Gold. Okay, so I'd appreciate it if you do that. I've never used it yet, and I can use it, and I can start it whenever I want to, and that's when it starts expiring as far as I know. But there will be a link below uh, this so that you can sign up for Trello, and when you do, it earns me free gold, and you can do the same thing and use all the cool little features. And you can find more about that by going to, you know, finding out Trello Gold, and there will be a way that you can learn that about it. I'm not going to go into that right now. But as you can see, I have got a lot of boards that I work on. Uh, each and every day, there's something that comes up that I work on all the time. Okay, so I've got the board, and my main board is Bluegrass Guitar Essentials, and I've made it a favorite, okay? So this is a favorite board I use all the time. So whenever something gets done, I move it and, you know, move it around. And this board, by like I said, by the time you see this, will be available um, to those on my mailing list. I will give the link to them. So if you're not on my mailing list, definitely go to bluegrassguitarcentrals.com where you can go to the sidebar on just about everywhere. Uh, and even if you don't go to the sidebar, it's at the very bottom here of this. You can sign up here. You can go to um, bluegrassguitarcentrals.com slash nothing. <laughs> uh, just go to their website and there will be a sidebar right here that pops up that you can sign up for the mailing list. And this is what I will give to those people who are interested in the course. I'm not going to really give a link to the whole public, just those people who really want to know about it. I'll give a link to them. Okay. And now I can see uh, QuickTime is messing up down here. So let's go ahead and get a new video player. And by the way, if you're wondering how, you know, you can't close it because it doesn't have an option now, the title bar is gone. You, all you got to do is just go to control W or close and it will close that window. And now I bring it back up and you, now you can see this in real time. Okay. So I can s make this as small as I want it. Notice that the controls and everything are still there. But when I click on me anywhere on this area besides this, so you can set all your settings here. You can set the quality, you can set the microphone, the camera. You can, when it first comes up, but uh, if you've got it set, if you typed in that code, you can click on this and it disappears. And that's awesome. Okay. So, all right, back to this. Let me go back here and put that on top. Okay. So I've got Bluegrass Guitar Essentials. This is my course as it's getting done. 
I've got different ideas to implement, and these are ideas for personal ideas and all this other stuff. Uh, and we'll be going into this in soon. YouTube ideas that I want to share, um, uh, not to share, but I want to, you know, every time I have a uh, suggestion or somebody gives me an idea, I put it in my YouTube ideas. If I had an idea myself, I put it in my YouTube ideas. And you're gonna see firsthand some things I've got in mind to do just because I'm showing it to you doesn't mean it's going to be done at all period and it doesn't mean it's going to be done soon. It's just some things that I've put on there and then later on I decide what I would like to get into. I've got business tasks, things that I want to do in my business. I've got goals to, to, for this year. And the cool thing is, you know, you don't get loaded with a bunch of boards. You know, if, you, if you're done with the board, you can archive it and you always can go back and access the archives of it. So it makes a big, big difference. Uh, that way you're not overwhelmed. Personal productivity things. I'm not really use this board much. Uh, probably get into it. The welcome board. I'll show you this in here in just a second. This is what you'll first see when you, you uh, sign up for Trello. Okay, so these are starred boards. These are my favorites, so that's why they're repeated down here. You can create organizations. For example, my business, I labeled Guitarpreneur. And so certain boards are for business only. Then I've got my boards, which is the things that I'm, you know, for personal issues, personal stuff. Now the goals is for business and personal. That's what these goals are for. And then our boards is boards that um, me and my wife share together. We get we add each other as members, and that way we all have, always have access to those boards. And for example, you can see, you can use Trello for so much more than just project management. Uh, here's a to-do list. She wants to get certain things clean, so she'll put it on uh, things to do, uh, this is what I'm working on, and uh, now they're clean so you can actually see when it's such a one rewarding feeling to see things getting moved from to do doing and then when they get completed you've got this long list of things that have been done to show that you've been making progress it's a really really reinforcing tool that helps you get things done it's really good for you setting your goals uh, uh, it's halfway through the year and I'm going to if, if it's not already out I'm going to plan on doing a hangout just for reviewing my goals. It's over halfway through the year, actually. Um, we're almost three quarters of the way there, and I want to do an update on what I've discovered after setting my goals initially this year, and what I've, you know, because I've been every three months, I go back and review them and kind of see where I'm going and kind of see if I need to veer another direction. So I definitely want to do a hangout on that, and we'll talk about goals and where you are in your goals now. A lot of people don't see them through to the end. They don't. They have a resolution. They don't. They don't see it through to the end. And I want to actually talk about that progress I've made so far, what I'm looking forward to in a live hangout pretty soon. Okay, so it probably will be happening after this comes out. But so the communication board is things that we need to tell each other about just about anything. So, hey, could you pick up this? Uh, we're out of this. We're out of milk. Could you pick that up? You know, so that could be on the grocery list. This is an amazing grocery list tool. Okay. All things that we need to get done, we need to buy, we have a grocery list. Then we have miscellaneous things that we want to get done. Recipes, this, this is basically mine, but uh, recipes that I like, I'll just keep them here so we can share them. And a trip, this one I just recently created because we're about to go on vacation. By the time this releases, you'll, I will probably be back, but we're about to go on vacation and we want to make sure that we take everything we want to take. So we've got a checklist for that. And we can also look at this checklist when we're heading back to make sure we don't forget anything. So instead of having to haul a piece of paper and losing it, it's in the cloud online and now we can access it. So let's get on into some of these. I've got some boards to show you and we'll kind of skip through these. This is what it looks like. Let's go to the welcome board first, okay? This is what you'll see when you sign up for Trello and you first walk into this, okay? So we have the basics. Welcome to Trello. Click on this. And it's, you know, sometimes it has instruction here. You can tell if it does because this right here uh, means there's a comment. This right here means there's a, a checklist. This right here means people have voted on it. So it tells you what this is. It's very basic. This is a card. You click on it and you have uh, somebody's voted. So you can vote down here, okay? So people, now let's go back here. People can vote on cards. Click on a card to see what's behind it. So it kind of like, apparently this is your card. When you flip it over, what you see here is what you get. You can put a detailed description here, okay? So you click on the edit or add comments. You can add a comment here, okay? 
Now, I, I thought that meant a checklist. I don't know what that little icon means. It may mean either a description or it may, this means comments, this little thing here, the little speech bubble. I guess the little line thing means that there's a description. Okay. You can attach pictures and files. Click on this and guess what? You attach pictures and files and you can click on it and it will open it for you. So that's Taco, that's their mascot. And then you click on this one and that's just a different Husky, okay? So that's pretty cool. Uh, when you add it, whatever you add, I think it's whatever you add first, or you can actually make it a cover. You can click on this and make it the cover. So whatever you make the cover is what's gonna show up over here. Very, very awesome. Especially if you want to do public voting, you can uh, you can show that. And I'll show you how I use some of these in mine. So it says, this is Taco, the most famous Siberian Husky in New York City. <clears throat> okay, so, and as you can see, you can add members, you can add labels. If I want to label this, I can make it a color, and I can change the, name, the label names. I can make this color means it's done. This color means it's in progress. This color means, uh, make sure to check out the the comments this one maybe means you know it's urgent it's important because it's red you know uh, you can have a due date on there you can attach something which the cool thing is i can take anything from my desktop um, a picture or a pdf or whatever uh, and drag it to uh, trello and it, it uploads it there so i don't have to keep it on stored on my computer it's in trello and i think they use amazon s3 for their storage so that you know that's uh, where that's stored i don't know if there's I don't know exactly what the size limit is. You probably find something out whenever you see that. But uh, and I can tell this card. I can tell it which board I want it to move it to. I want to move it to one of these other boards. Um, and I can move it from this to, like, I say, this is to do, doing, and done. I can move it from doing to do to done. And I can tell it which where I want it to be. I can put it on the very bottom, or I can put it on the top. Typically, I put the most recent things on the top so that I can see what's been done and all the other stuff gets kind of shoved down to the bottom okay so that's what you want to do if you want to move a card you can copy this card the list the checklist everything you can even ch copy checklists I can uh, add a checklist uh, to it like create a new card and say copy a checklist from another card over here and that's a really uh, really good thing subscribe it, it gives you little notifications up in this area if you subscribe to a card so if I wanted to subscribe to one of Trello's cards I would click subscribe and it would notify me every time Trello has, you know, something new available. And you can archive it. And you can always go back to archive your archives and uh, find those. Um, so you can add a hyperlink and it will automatically, you can go straight to it. And it automatically puts it here. So it's pretty cool. Um, you can add checklists. And whenever you click it, it makes it, 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 uh, it you know, does this it you know uh, adds to it so all this other stuff you can add and it, it, it has a history over here and right here of what has been done to this card so you can see what has happened the whole process okay so you can drag people onto a card to say that they're responsible for it so there's a members trello so i'll drag it over here and they're responsible for it that's what i do with my vas add your board to a team to this board using the add members which is you know uh, add members is right here you can use color coded labels. You can make as many lists as you need. Okay, so click the add list button on the sidebar menu or click the icon by the board title. So in other words, you can right here and then add another list. Um, oh, it's right here, add a list right here. So let me see what that was again. Add list button on the sidebar or board menu Okay, so there must be something here on the sidebar that you can do. Um, that, and here's all the different things you can do, too. I can copy the whole board. I can share it. If I wanted to share this, uh, you know, I would click on share, and it would give me the link that I can use, and people can view it publicly, okay? Uh, if I decide, you know, whoever had it, whoever has this link can view it. Uh, addition, different additional settings. I can even change the background, okay? I can change it to the colors, or if you have tre Trello Gold, you can change it to a photo, photo uh, a pattern and a texture, you know, custom things. So that's, you know, all this stuff is free, but if you want to customize it even further, that's basically what Trello Gold is, okay? Uh, email to board. Now, the cool thing is I can send myself an email to this address, and it will st st stick on the board for me. 
So if I, I send an email to Eric Beatty, blah, 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 at boards.trello.com, it will put it on my board for me. Okay, so that's, uh, and it will tell you where you want it, and it'll put it wherever you want it to be. So it's it's a really, really cool feature if you use that. You can filter your cards uh, by the green label, by who who does it, by the next day, you know, whatever you want to do. Stickers, I can add a sticker, say, well, it's done. I click a little thing here. Um, if it's not a good idea, I click a little thing right here, you know. If it's time sensitive, click this. If it's urgent, click this, you know. So any, if it's, you know, important, click a star. So anything you think of, you know, you got these stickers. Now, the taco pack you can have with Trello Gold, and you can have uh, other different things. But, I mean, I'll, I hardly ever use these, and if I do, the, the basic ones I need are right here. You can go to archived items. Like I said, you could go and, and find your archived items. You can click on that, and any cards that you have archived or boards that you have archived, you can always access them again using that, okay? So basically, you'll get this, and you'll see it whenever you get your Trello when you sign up for it. I don't, there's no need me going over all this stuff. Once you go through all this, you basically got the, the Trello basics down, okay? So here's the other things I'll go over with real quick. They do have keyboard shortcuts, which is really cool. Um, you can you can see them at trello.com slash shortcuts. And I think maybe even push the, uh, now that's a search. Yeah, push shift and, you know, the question mark, and it'll bring up all the keyboard shortcuts. So that's really cool. That's a really cool feature that they've got. Cool thing, too, is if you have a really long board, there's a little scroll bar that comes down here, but you don't have to click the scroll bar. You can just click anywhere on here and move it back and forth. Uh, you don't even have to use the scroll bar, so that's really cool. Uh, if you want help, you can go to trello.com slash help, and it will take you directly to their help page on Trello. Uh, so you got all these different things here. Um, you can go to Trello. Well, that trello.com will just take me back to where I was. Um, API info, there's Trello.com resources. So all their links, basically, you can find there. So these are cool. You can use all the different resources. This is boards that they're using. I mean, they got a lot of stuff going on. See, now here's that scroll bar. I can just take and scroll by clicking any part of this background and moving it back and forth. So if you're interested in developer stuff for Trello, that's all there. Um, So, and there's, uh, let's see, learn more tricks, check out the guide, okay? So, click, it's the button with the I in the header. Um, not exactly sure what they're meaning there. Button with the I in the header. Check out the guide. I'm not exactly sure what they're talking about there, but anyway, uh, Trello's actual board, so if I went to Trello, Let's see here. Um, want updates on new features? That's what I was looking for. That's the big one. Blog.trello.com. You can go to that. We just went to that. That's where the special announcement was. Um, so if I can just go to the Trello blog, the the regular blog here uh, shows you what's going on. So this is the whole blog that you can find. And yes, you do have a quick editor, so that's cool. You can go over here to the uh, this right here, click on that, and you can edit labels, change members, move, copy, all the main stuff, and even add your stuff here that you want to if you need to. So that's really cool. Um, let's go back here real quick. I am subscribed to the Trello board, and I can't exactly remember what the link is for that. Let me pause this and find it and then come right back. Okay, so if you go to the Trello blog, blog.trello.com, I found it, you'll see something that says going public, road mapping with a public Trello board. Now, this is what I was talking about when I was going to make some of these things public, like my YouTube thing and my um, Bluegrass Guitar Essentials board. Uh, this gives some ideas of what some uh, video game people are doing so that you can check these out and actually see what is it what stages are in development what's what stages can be voted on what things have already been done so there's a lot of different things that uh, it talks about here this is a really good uh, entry and if you click on it this is the actual link okay and what i was going to is the trello board the trello development board is what you're going to find it's what you'll need to search for 
Trello has their own board that you can vote on and see what things are getting done, what things they're working on. So it's uh, when you click on this, here's the link to the Trello uh, development board. Okay, so you can actually see their ideas, uh, known issues, things that they're working on right now. So these are things that people vote on. I mean, if you want something really bad, you vote on it and they consider it big time. Okay, so it's very cool, and I get on here from time to time to see what they're you know coming up with, what they're thinking about. Things that are live in May and June and July, they're working on things that are live, you know, later on down the road. Um, so, I mean, different things that you can see that have been done and it continues to go on. So that's just what I want to show you when you go to the welcome board and, and these different boards that you have access to for Trello. Now, as far as me, what I like to use is, um, and I've already got that bookmark somewhere so that I can go back to it. marketing strategies I guess is where I put that in. yeah for uh, ideas on doing this so they call it road mapping you can road map what you're doing so that other people can you know see what's going on so let's go back to my Trello I can go back here to the boards and let's start out with uh, we went to the welcome board this is how you access all your boards by the way you got some recent boards you can hide that if you don't want to have that there my boards you know organization star boards these are the four ones I use the most Okay, so we're going to start out with ideas, okay? So I go to my Guitarpreneur. It's, this is an organization. It's a favorite. Uh, this means uh, what, it, what it, the description of this board is. And people can, everybody that's a member of this organization can visit this, okay? So uh, here's some ideas for my, for, that I use. So potential products that I can think of. You know, I really want to do a workshop. I really want to do some kind of, you know, like live seminar for guitar stuff, you know. Um, some different things I have for my email newsletter, some ideas for uh, bluegrass guitar, you know, different things that just roll around my head. I put it down on paper. It's A, a lot of this is part of the whole uh, getting things done method by David Allen. I've never, I haven't read this yet. I've had it for about a month or so, but when I go on vacation, I'm taking this baby with me and uh, definitely going to read this. But I've seen some of his videos. He talks about ideas. Your mind wasn't uh, created to store ideas. Uh, that's what paper's for. So it's created. It's you know it's used to processing ideas, but not storing information. Uh, so that's what Trello. I use Trello for. It takes care of all my ideas. And so I've got all these uh, different things, like little different business doodles and things that I've I've done that I thought might be a good product. To maybe release that as a big package or something. Just not that it's going to happen, like I said, but just what I you know what I use Trello for. And so I can see things. Here's the products, and if it's something I'm working on, I'll move it over here to. I'm going to proceed onward with this one. Or here's another idea that really isn't uh, isn't a, a, a big deal that I can you know don't have to worry about. Um, so and I'll probably release some of these anyway soon because there are some really good YouTube videos I found recently that are, are uh, really cool. So these are just some ideas that I got you know using Dan Rome's you know back of the napkin uh, book really got into doodling uh, a couple years ago with this book I've already done a review on this book on my YouTube channel on some of the books that I own that you should read definitely check that out um, but it's it's, I, it's really good uh, you know creativity uh, thing that I can do and you know some lesson ideas that I might have uh, things that are in progress I, I, I usually just add to this and I haven't really maintained it lately some newsletter ideas that I can add to my newsletter, you know, for those of you to subscribe to my Totally Free Guitar newsletter. Not that this stuff will happen, but just some other stuff that I can add to this. Uh, different ideas here. Some potential domain names that I've gotten ideas for. Article ideas that I might want to put on my website. Uh, and there's Trello. Check that out. And this is cool. Some whiteboard ideas that I came up with. Um, so, you know, some different uh, productivity flow, A to Z stuff, interests that I want to do. Um, so I can go back to, let's see, what's A to Z? Let's see what this is. I can click on it and it'll show me. You are here. Overwhelmed, stressed, too many options, too much to do, blah, 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 what, you know, and where you want to be. So I want to have a team. I want, I want some help with all this stuff. Too many options? Well, let's get organized. Too much to do? Well, let's streamline this. You know, all these different things that I can go to, and I can make so many things a, a different cover. Um, some interests I have in guitar. Now, this is just for me so that I can, 
what do I really want to focus on? Well, I like making music, so I'll, I'll do some garage band stuff. Or I like, I want to practice, have better technique. I want to work making new products, YouTube newsletter, guitar magazines, so that I can learn more stuff. So all these kind of things, I just take my little whiteboard, and let's go ahead and open up a new thing here. Quick time's going to be aggravating. So, oops, not screen recording, movie recording. All right, so let's go back to fixing this. All right, so I'll take just the little whiteboard that I have if I have an idea. And uh, so I'll just put it on this whiteboard and take a picture of it with my uh, uh, cell phone and send it to my um, desktop. And I can uh, upload it to my, to my Trello board. Okay, so that's basically, you know, the different ideas that I have on my ideas board. This one's not being made public. You can see what's going on. But the cool thing is, look at all this stuff on the done. Okay, it's very end. All this stuff that's got done. This shows progress. This shows that I've got stuff done. And it, it, it motivates me to get more things done. Okay, so it motivates me to get more things done when I see this. And I, like I said, I can t click the background anywhere and the scroll bar below there moves. So now let's go to another one. Here's another one that I want to do is, is uh, business tasks. Now this shows you what I do in my business, what needs to get done, what I need to do. Uh, here's what I do to figure out how much uh, I need to pay in my taxes and how much I need to set aside for ties. I've recently just done this one. This is, I just started it last month and it's, it's working out a lot better than uh, me trying to figure all this stuff out on paper. I just, what I do is I create checklists for lesson income, for products I sell, for other income, different things like that. And whatever happens is I'll put the date and I'll put, um, I'll put the date and I'll put um, the item that was sold or the item I made money on and how much it was. And then at the end of the month, it's always easy to calculate uh, because I'll check it off to show that I've already paid my tithes or paid my taxes so that I don't get confused as to what's been paid and what hasn't. And that, that system's been working pretty good for me. I'm keeping up with that. Miscellaneous stuff. Uh, here's some stuff that I need to do. Make a review on the strings or upload new marketing videos. Upload, you know, do this other stuff, you know. Um, make the, here's one of, that I was talking about. Make BGE course, Bluegrass Guitar Centers course, available to the public. Uh, and you can, you, can, you know, um, transparency. It shows that you're transparent. It shows, you know, that uh, you want people to see what's going on behind the scenes. Um, so different things that I you know, want to do. Here's some things that are done and are live. So things that I've been needing to do, whether it's in my um, um, doing lessons, private lessons, so online lessons, or if it's within the business that I do online. So all this stuff has been done, and it, it lets me see that it's done and uh, makes a big difference. Okay, so, and the next one, let's go to some goals that I have for this year. 2014 goals. Complete the Bluegrass Guitar Course. It's in progress. I'm working on that right now. So let's move that to in progress. See how easy it was? You drag and drop it. Uh, hire a web developer VA. That's not really been an issue right now. I've been kind of maintaining my own website, but I hope to do that soon after that's done. Uh, delegate more tasks. Uh, to different VAs that are non-BGE related. I recently delegated my thumbnail, uh, YouTube thumbnail management and creation to my graphic designer and that's been working out really great. He's really fast with them, he gets them done, makes a big difference. So uh, I've created a checklist so that I can see all the different things within that that I need to get done um, and then when the checklist is completed I'll move it to personal goal achieved or business goal achieved or whatever. So this is kind of where I keep up with a lot of my different goals. Uh, lose weight, 100 pounds. I need to lose 100 pounds, okay? So a master of time management productive. Let's click on these two. These are two personal goals. Let's see what I've got in here. So read, Working Smart by Michael LaBeouf. Or actually read. I, did, I read that one. So I'm, I'm, I'm taking uh, notes of what I've done to help me manage uh, master time management productivity, different things like that. Um, I purchased Getting Things Done, that book I just showed you. Uh, I purchased that one to read. I'm continually reading blogs on the subject. So these, this is my, what is my proactive approach? What am I doing to master time management and productivity? 
Okay, so I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and edit and add another one. Now, the way you make those little dots, those little bullets, is you have to have a little dash and a space or a hyphen. So the next thing is, I'll have a, a hyphen and I'll put, um, um, let's see, reviewing goals um, quarterly to, let's see, what's the word I'm thinking of? Reviewing goals quarterly to assess and um, redefine goals and directions to take. I, I don't know, I didn't, this is on the fly, I can't think I had a word that, but I'll click uh, return and I'll take it to another line or I can click save. Now if you accidentally click off this, it's not going to save it. But the cool thing is you click edit and it's still there. So you just, it's in the queue, but you got to save it. Now I can do multiple things like this. I can make this, uh, let's make this uh, different uh, subtext and different things like that. Uh, then we got... Um, I don't know, time management, and then productivity, okay, but I want you to notice something, uh, that will not work as bullets now, and that's because you have to have a space in between the bullets and what your title is, so if I clicked on this, and clicked a space between that, and then started my bullets, had a space after the title, space after the title, and now look what happens. Uh, this is probably not working here because there's nothing added to it, so if I just add, I don't know, letters of some kind. Now if I, if I didn't put a space there, let's see what happens. Okay, so you have to put a space in between the hyphen to make that a bullet, okay? So that's pretty cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. Just little you know tips and tricks that you can use for managing your own uh, Trello board. So another thing I'm doing proactively to master time management productivity is reviewing goals quarterly, <clears throat> about every three months, and I'm assessing and and redefining them and which directions to take from there. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so I just went ahead and added that. So that's one thing I did. Now I uh, want to lose weight. So what am I doing? Well, uh, I, steps to weight loss. I joined a workout program, okay? Um, and then all these things. I, I, I lost 15 pounds in June. Uh, in July, I've lost another five or so. It's been going kind of up and down, but once I get to 20, I'll add 20 there, you know. I've already lost 20, but then you know, I gained back three pounds, so I'm kind of waiting until it stabilizes, and then I'll add it. Uh, so I've been doing the workout program and still working on the workout program. I haven't missed a day yet, I don't think, since uh, I started back in April. I do it once a week. It's coming to that point. I'm starting to plateau off, and I need to start upping my exercise and maybe decreasing calories. So I'll probably start doing this twice a week, maybe after vacation, depending on how my schedule looks. So, you know, this, this shows me that I'm getting things done, okay? Um, the next one to go over is uh, personal productivity. This has really not been man managing this one that much. So this is, uh, in other words, I need to get something done this week. Uh, I need to get something done next week. I usually don't use this now. I typically use Google Calendar for all that stuff, so a lot of stuff doesn't happen here. Uh, right now, what I'm doing in progress is the neck diagrams uh, for the, the course. That probably needs to be moved to business in progress. Uh, actually, I can do that right now, so I'll show you how to do it. So let's move it. Let's move that one to my Bluegrass Guitar Essentials course. And uh, and then we'll put it on the in progress, and we'll put it on whichever position. Uh, I've been doing this for a while, so I'll just leave it on the bottom for right now. So it's a, it's in progress because it's constantly happening. I'll move it, and guess what? It disappears, and when you go to my Bluegrass Guitar Essentials board, it shows up where I put it. Really, really handy. So this is cool. I can see what I've been doing here. I've gotten what I've gotten done. You know, personal stuff like doing stuff for Xbox or, you know, uh, different things that may not work on the house, you know. <laughs> different things like that that I want to see done but hasn't been done. And 
that might not be necessarily business related. I'm leaving this up because I may want to use it again for right now. But And the cool thing is you can kind of see what my uh, boards are named as well. So if I went back to ideas, uh, let's see, where'd that go? Ideas. If I went back there, you can see I've got potential products, uh, lesson ideas, in progress, email newsletter ideas, website ideas, article ideas. I use these quite a bit, the newsletter and the article. I always keep these, you know, so that I can get an idea of what I want to do for the next issue of, of newsletter or whatever. Uh, priority ideas, things I need to focus on. In other words, this is what I need to make my focus and really get an idea of my priorities and what they are. Um, and I already showed you that. It says there was there's one more attachment. I didn't see that. So definitely check that out. Uh, if it has more than what's shown here, it'll say see all attachments or whatever. So if I, if I clicked on that one, this was an idea from uh, Patty Lebioski. Um, no, excuse me. Sorry about that wrong name, wrong last name. Patty Dobrowski, um, Drawing Solutions. This is her idea. You map it on the left side, and on the right side, you've got your desired new reality. So that was uh, the other book that I did on the books that I only that you ought to read by Dan Rome and from Dan Roman from Patty Dobrowski. So my current reality is I'm pulling my hair out. Okay. Now I don't have a, t a date on this, but it says it was added September second of two thousand thirteen. So that tells me what you know what time frame this is. What's my three bold steps? Well, I need to have a new perspective. I desire a new reality. Everything's working for my good. Okay. Uh, current reality disorganized. Okay. Priorities. I need to my my bold step here is I need to make priorities. I need to have one, two, and three. Not one, two, oh, I, I missed something on one, so let's go back to that. Okay, I think I'm done. Uh, we'll go on to the next one. Oh, wait, there's something else that needs to be done? No. And the next one is focus. This is a magnifying glass, you know, burning a hole in something. That's the smoke, and this is the uh, the light. I need to have focus, which means follow one course until successful. And I learned that from Donald Trump and Robert uh, Kiyosaki. Uh, from I think I forgot what the book's called R reasons why you, we want you to be rich or something like that really learned a lot from that and the one thing that I took out of that on focus was follow one course until successful don't move on to two until you get one done don't move on to three until you get one and two done okay follow one course until successful there it was I didn't even realize that so this helps me stay focused okay so there's some ideas there proceeding onward things that I'm definitely going to do with uh, secondary ideas that might not necessarily be productive or, or you know, money making, but something maybe worth considering. And then everything that's done. Okay, so let's go back to uh, miscellaneous tasks. So let's see what that is. This is one of the boards on our boards. So this is how me and my my wife use the boards. So miscellaneous. Melissa wants to do some sewing on my jeans. Uh, here's some miscellaneous stuff, and I tell her, hey, check out the new features in Trello. And then I click on it says see comments. And then you go here, introducing this. So I give her a link and it takes her directly to it. Email so and so about this and that. Prepare for personal. Prepare for this. Prepare for that. Take a walk. Things to do next. Things in progress. Things that are done. So very cool. And uh, we were shopping for comforters for Christmas and I, I said, well, this is the ones that I want. So she sent me a picture of here's the ones, here's the links of the different ones that I like. And so. It's a cool way to communicate. Um, the next one to go over is the one that I showed you earlier um, called recipes. Okay. Now, anytime if you want to go to the wide view of your Trello, all you have to do is click on this. It will take you back to your boards. It'll say Trello.com, but it'll be your Trello, your, your boards. So if you like organizing better like this and it's a lot better laid out for you than, you know, horizontally or whatever, vertically, vertically you like more of a linear approach, you can go just click on that trail icon and it'll bring you right back to it. Recipes. Oven and fried potatoes. So I clicked on that and here's the recipe. And uh, I said you should put this on fa Facebook. But uh, if I wanted to, I can take a picture of these oven fried potatoes and put it on here and have all these kind of juicy looking recipes, <laughs> which would get my mouth to watering. Chocolate gravy. Here's a cool recipe for chocolate gravy. And I've got a link instead of listening here. So um, those are some awesome examples. Uh, and the last one I'm going to show you right now is 
uh, YouTube. But let me check my list here to make sure I haven't uh, missed anything. Um, let's see here. I've already went over that. I went over that. Show your work. Talked about that. I'm pretty much almost about to wrap this thing up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you the YouTube board and things that I've got cooking in my mind. And I've got it red because YouTube right here, as you can see, the logo here is red. So it's not that it's urgent or anything. And once again, you can do show sidebar, menu, and change your background color for that. And if you don't want the sidebar, you just get it out of the way. And you can always access it again. Now this board is public. I think I just recently made it public. Uh, so that means when you click on any of these, you can vote. Oh, I want this video. I want you to work on this video next. So these are videos that I've come up with ideas for. For example, my guitar suggestion lesson, lesson uh, box video that I've that I've got on uh, my channel. I check that from time to time, and I'll add it to this so that I can see what you guys have been saying you want me to, to work on. And all my ideas are separate. I've got those listed separately. But I've already done Jerusalem Ridge. I've done Lonesome Fiddle Blues. I've done uh, Risley Untitled, Rocky Road to Dublin. Here's some other peop things that people would like me to work on, you know, some different things like that. Uh, so I'll try to keep track on that. So some of these stuff, I don't know exactly if I even get to or not. But it, ge it gives me an idea of what you guys, kind of what you guys want to, to learn. Right now, the the rage is Tony Rice stuff, so I've been adding a lot of Tony Rice stuff lately. So you can definitely vote on some of these if you want to see some of these. Just click on the card and you can vote. And I will also leave that link to this uh, board in the description below. Um, audio ideas from smartphone. Basically, this is any ideas on my, uh, my smartphone or my regular phone that I have uh, spoken into my phone and said, oh, here's a cool YouTube idea. And I use my phone a lot for that, for in-the-moment ideas. And I'll say, here's a YouTube idea, so-and-so. And then from time to time, I'll go back here, and I'll glean that and put it on the board here, which is what I've done with some of these already. Um, so Home from the Forest is probably what's happening next uh, because um, that's just been on my mind to do that one. Then after that one, I've got a couple other ones coming on. Um, Last Rain from Poor Valley has been on my mind like crazy. So I'm probably going to do that one pretty soon. So, And I can drag the order of these if I want to. I can just move them back and forth, you know, wherever I want them to be. Um, some review videos that I've been wanting to, that I want to do. Um, so all these will be available public, so you can see what I'm working on. So if you're wondering what's going on next, you can just get to this board and you can see, oh, okay, here's what he's working on next, you know. Uh, as far as the next hangout, that's what I'm planning on doing on my next hangout. So you can actually click on the show notes that I have as I'm as I'm working on them, and you can see, oh, this is what's going to be the next thing he's going to work on. Okay, so in progress. So anytime I'm doing something, I'll move it to in progress. Actually, this probably needs to be moved over to uh, right here so that I can move things over if I need to. So um, not sure if I even did those or not. Uh, here's the vlog things, screencast videos, and one of them is for Trello, and that's in progress right now. I'm doing it right now. So let's move that over to in progress. It's right here happening right now. And the comments are only people added to the board can edit, so fans can't suggest things, but I'll add ideas once they leave suggestions on my guitar lesson box. Share a link. So this has been on the list since August of last year, and I'm just now getting to it. Anyway, it happens eventually. If it's on your board, if you see things laid out like this, you'll want to get it done, okay? So you'll definitely want to get them done and we'll get them working on, on those. Most votes. So if I start seeing votes here now, I can move it to the most votes, and that can be what I'm working on next, you know, things like that, or what I, what I need to consider to work on very soon. So these are things that were uploaded since I started this board. I've got all these things that have been uploaded so I can see what's live. And uh, one of them had a dead deadline. Possible interview vids. Interview questions that are uh, I like to use as my standard interview stuff. I haven't got in here, I don't think, and uh, exactly 
Well, I think I, I think I actually did do this. So as you can see, these have have not been bulleted because um, when I'm copying and pasting these on, um, well, I'm gonna say when I'm copying and pasting them in the videos, I don't want that. But I kind of do want that. I want that. Uh, I want that break there so that it doesn't run into each other. So. Miscellaneous questions, closing, and save. Okay, now they're bulleted. Now I can see what's going on. Here's what I would do is I would copy this, and I would add somebody as a possible interview person, and I would put that in their comments so that I can see. And what I do is I share this link uh, with the people I'm going to interview and say, well, here's what to expect. And obviously, I'm not going to get to all these questions. Uh, it's just too many to go to. But the thing is you can see uh, what you have a, a, a template and you can you know kind of change it as you want to um, and then you can see what like if I clicked on my labels you can see what I've got right now I've got noteworthy instructions in other words look at the comments the current project you know or in progress or whatever I'm working on and I can change the other things if I want to so and there's some other people that I've thought about interviewing like I said may not get to those but at least it gives me a continual flow of ideas and it's easy to get overwhelmed when you see this stuff and you're like well I'll never get to all this stuff don't think of it like that think of this as an endless resource of ideas and you can pick and choose what you want to do okay you know on Trello so I'm gonna make this public I'm gonna share that link below so check out the show more area below and vote on what you would like to see and even if you don't want to vote that's fine um, just because you vote doesn't mean I'm going to get to it immediately. It will let me know what I need to consider uh, going over. But this will also keep you informed as to what I'm working on making happen on my YouTube page. Now, some of this stuff I'm not going to add because it might be a spur of the moment. So I'm not going to say, oh, I need to add this to Trello before I sit down and make it. A lot of that stuff's just going to happen in the spur of a moment. and uh, But that's just the way it happens. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to Trello, and for the last part of this, I'm going to create a brand new board. Okay, so here's how you do it. Simple. All you have to do is go over here. See this little add new board or organization. So I'm going to click on this, and I'll add a new board or a new organization. Now, I've got all the organizations I need. I've got my boards. I've got the Guitarpreneur. I've got personal and I've got our boards. That's really all I need to fool with. So I don't need an organization. And I can choose to make that uh, public or private, viewable between a team, family, whatever. I need a new board. So a new board is a collection of cards ordered in a list of lists. Use it to manage project, manage a project, track a collection, or organize anything. So I'm going to add a new board. I'm going to call it writing because I've been wanting to do a lot more writing. And I'm gonna move it to my boards. Um, it's private, it's visible to members of the organization, it's public, I guess it is private. Okay, so organization, I don't know why it's, oh, I think my boards is default. So the other two that I've got is uh, Guitarpreneur and our boards. So my boards is the default one. Uh, I think it's set to that, so I'll click create. And it should appear right here. So let's see what happens. Bam, right there it is. And when you create a new board, this is what you'll get. You'll get to do, doing, and done. Okay? So this gives you a foundation to start with. Now, automatically, my writing, let's say I want to change that background. I wish they had a, a light blue. They've only got like four, color, five colors to choose from, six, whatever. So writing, it can be a gray but I think I might make it a purple. I don't know, you can make it whatever you want to. If I go back to Trello here, it'll show up as gray. So this is the one thing that might stand out, you know. So, yeah, I like gray. We'll leave it gray for now. So, and instead of to do, I might write um, ideas. Ideas. And all I do is click on that and change it. Click save, I can add a card if I want to. Uh, and I don't like doing, I like in progress better. And I click return, it'll save it for me. Done. Um, so let's just do this. Let's say journal. 
you know, I don't know. Now, this is not going to be like article ideas because that's in my uh, business. That's in my ideas, article ideas. So this is like personal writing and things like that that I need to, you know, want to work on. So, for example, um, here's a, a goal I need to do. Finish business dreams and goals journal number two. And I will add that. And the cool thing is, is when you add something, like say, let's let's say I was going to uh, add something. Let me click back off that. And I'm typing something. And when you hit return, it, it makes it a, a card already. But if you want to uh, dig deeper and uh, open the card, all you have to do is hit shift before you hit return or enter. Hit shift, and it opens it for you. It saves it. Uh, pointing that it saves it and it, you can automatically start working on it so that's a cool little shortcut and once again you can hit shift and question mark and access the keyboard shortcuts for a lot of those cool tips all right so very very interesting stuff so I uh, obviously don't need this so what I will do is I'll archive that you don't really delete the archive it so that you can always have access to it so I won't necessarily need to use that again so and I'm going to let's go ahead and open this I'm going to add a due date I want to finish this and complete it by the 27th actually and we'll put that as uh, 12 a.m. no yeah 11 59 p.m. I want to finish it by the end of the day so we'll save that and the power calendar power up what happens is as it gets closer to the due date the cards begin to age and it, it's really cool Almost looks like pirate, you know, papyrus looking paper. But you can, it, it'll make it start to age as you can see it approaching the deadline. So it's, it's really cool. And uh, I like the, the fresh new look, but you can do that on certain boards if you want to. So save. Now, it tells me it's due July 27th at 11.59 by then. If I get off here, it'll show it right here. As the deadline approaches, when it gets to the due date, this will turn red, if, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is um, begin ecosystems. Whatever happens, happens. Journal. And then I can hit shift and say uh, this journal will no longer be mainly so the next business journal I have will be I want to compile you know consolidate all this stuff so I comment and that's commented now I can do that so this one right here I'm going to say this one's urgent, so I'm going to put red just to remind me of this, and I'm going to drag it to in progress. And when it's done, I'll drag it to the done. Now, done, I always leave at the end. I always put it at the end because it lets me see, you know, at the end what I'm doing. So that's it's easy as that, guys. That's how you create a uh, a business journal, you know. And the cool thing is, let's let's do this. Let's say I want a uh, a picture of the ecosystems. Go over here and find one, all right? And my particular one is, let me find it here, Ecosystem Life. My particular one is the blue one. So here is uh, color. I got to select a size. All right, so let me just go through this. Um, I think it's like, like, I don't know what it's called. Choose a style. Okay, all right, fine. Author. Let's make it a flexi cover. Let's make it a medium, which is mine. And Lagoon, that's it. So, build it. All right, so I need to find a Lagoon Ecosystems Journal. And I'm going to find an image of that. Bingo. 
that's what I need. So I'm going to take uh, an example of this. I'm going to, that's about the right size. I'm going to view the image. Let's go back here. What about that one? How, how big is that one? Perfect. We'll do that one. I'm going to visit the, uh, the image. Let's see if it'll let me copy this image URL and put it on Trello that way. You're watching this live, folks. Once again, stinking QuickTime has to mess up. So we will fix that real quick. I apologize for all this little side stuff that's happening, but I've got to get this. Uh, I, this happens, you know, I've got, I want to get it done. So, all right, uh, add an attachment. Uh, attach from Google Drive, attach a link. Uh, so I can attach a link. So let's see what happens if I do that. Bingo. Now, that is my cover. So I get off here. That is my cover. Isn't that awesome? You can attach a URL of a link of an image. Copy this, you know, .jpg, and you can attach a link. So that shows you live how to add an attachment. And you can do it from Google Drive, from just about anywhere. Even if you have Dropbox, you can do it from Dropbox right here. I don't know what box is. OneDrive is, I think, Microsoft's new uh, cloud option. You can upload from your computer, and in that case, all I have to do is drag and drop, and it'll, it'll upload it. Um, uh, or I can attach a link for anything. So you can drag and drop files and links onto cards to upload them. So that's awesome. Now, this is, when I can see this visually, this makes me want to do it that much quicker. And that is this journal right here. I haven't even started, and I've got it in the forefront of my mind so that I can finish my business journal. Okay, and this is right here. I've left this open. New goal: complete this journal by 7:31:14. And I'm already. I'm, I'm only got like seven pages left. I've already completed a bunch since then. So this was my new goal: a visual aid. I laid it right beside me so that I could always see this, and it would egg me on, and it would annoy me. So uh, until I made this happen, so so that when I go on vacation, I don't have to lug this bulky thing around. I'm going to complete it so that I can start this journal. I'm really excited about that. Starting getting back into writing, so I can have daily writing things. I can have um, what I wrote about today, or this this whole Trello board. Guess what, guys? This whole Trello board right here on writing can be a journal of what I've done. So. It's, it's awesome how Trello, you can use it for just about anything. Definitely check it out. Please check it out using the link below, and that will earn me Trello Gold. And it doesn't cost you a thing. You can sign up for free, and you will get your own link. And to show you that, here's what you do. You go to your little thing here, and you go to um, Share Trello. Okay? Now, if I click Share Trello, here's what it's going to do. It's going to take me to this. And what I want to do is, before I go there... Um, where is that at? Uh, mentioned Trello link. Okay, that is this link down here. All you have to do is click on this link on the show notes below, and that will take you to where you can sign up for a free Trello account. Okay. You can sign up for a free Trello account, and it will get me Trello Gold for you doing that. So I really appreciate that. Appreciate you guys watching and sticking with me through all the QuickTime hassles and everything like that. I'm gonna have to find another way to do this because QuickTime is not at all, you know, uh, helpful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get off here and call it a day, and go ahead and post this to Twitter and Facebook and all the other places so that people can start signing up for Trello. Okay, so. And when this video releases, I'll probably do the same thing. So thanks so much for watching. You can uh, earn two free months out of 12. Once I get to 12, I may start using Trello Gold. It doesn't activate until I tell it to start using it. So if you'll just go to trello.com slash ericbatty slash recommend, either go there now or click on the link below, then that will give me access to Trello Gold and uh, for totally free for both of us. And I'm not sure... Um, if when you share it, it earns you Trello Gold too. Let's see, for every person, 
you get to join Trello. We'll give you a free month of Trello Gold up to 12 months. So, and you can learn more about that when you go to trello.com slash gold. So you can get it for $5 a month or get it for free by sharing it, okay? Um, 10 megabyte card attachments, okay. So I guess the uh, 10 megs is the attachment limit when you upload a picture or whatever. So you can attach cards bigger than that. You can change your background to uh, one of the basic colors or you get access to nine up or upload your own background. You get all kinds of sticker packs. Uh, you can do different emoji with Trello Go. Now that's another thing you can do that's really cool. If I go back to my thing, let's go back uh, more about business class here. Um, My share page was the, what I just went to. So I'm going to go back to Trello and show you what the emoji are. So if I go to writing here and I click on this. I can actually go to um, when I add a comment, like edit this comment. I can add attachment to this comment or I can add emoji. So when you're adding, like if I wanted to add a new comment to anything, I start typing a comment and I can add emoji. So test comment and you want a space because it adds the little emoji in text so I'll put a thumbs up or sunglasses let's do that and you can upload emoji if you upload emoji you have to use it through Trello Gold so I don't, I don't want to fool with that um, so let's go back here let's add the sunglasses and now if I click comment it's there Okay, it's at the end. It comes at the end. If I wanted to put emoji at the front, it doesn't do that for some reason. It always adds it on the end. So if I add a space and move that over and did it again, it's always going to add it on the end. Okay, so you've got to have a space so that you can uh, make that work. All right, so I'm going to delete that now that it's no longer useful. There is no undo when you delete a comment. Just keep that in mind. So business class. Um, I guess it's even, I don't even know what even to go to. So if I clicked on, it's five per month. Let me go back. I don't want to do that. Uh, five per user month or 45 per year for each organization. So Trello Gold and Business Class looks like about the same price. Okay. Five per month or 45 per year. Okay, uh, everyone in your organization. So that's that's the difference. This is for you, everyone in your organization. You can check out business class. Okay, so basically that's all I had to get you know show you. So like I said, check out Trello. Check it out using my link. Thanks so much for watching. I know it's been lengthy, and I apologize for that for all the different mishaps and all that. Hopefully the audio came through very well using this uh, Audio Technica recorder. I want to get off here. It's uh, it's been over an hour, and I'm ready to call it a day after all the hassle with getting the microphone to work and all this stuff. It's enough work for a Saturday, any day, all right? It's almost vacation time, and I can't wait. I'll see you guys uh, on this video whenever I get to it. Thanks so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate you sticking with me, and uh, I hope uh, if this is getting lengthy, I wish I'd mentioned this at the first. Please don't punch me for this, but I hope you took advantage of the little cog, the little wheel icon down here. <clears throat> on YouTube because you can speed up the video up to two times faster. So if any of any from now on, let's just make this a, a notion. If I have any screencasts or anything like that, because I tend to ramble, uh, if I have any screencasts or any videos that's not relating to music or whatever like that, you can always feel free to speed up the video to get through it quicker. Uh, and also it works the other way too. If, I'm, if I've got a guitar tutorial and I'm going too fast for you, you can always use that same uh, icon to slow it down half speed or whatever so that's all i'll say for today let me make sure i haven't missed anything or left anything out i'm pretty sure i haven't um uh, let's see here okay so definitely basically definitely check out the trello boards that they have the de development developmental board that they have uh, for all the different resources, you can go to uh, trello.com slash fogcreek, blog.trello.com. I left the M off the com for some reason on that. 
and uh, the only other thing was um, oh, I just had it too. That's pretty much it. So, thanks so much for watching today, guys. If I've left anything out, then whatever. I've done enough for today. I'll see you guys next time. Check out bluegrassguitarcentrals.com. Check out trello.com slash Eric Beatty slash recommend. I think it's that link. Check out the links below for sure to see and make sure I haven't left any out. And I'll leave a bunch of those resources available to you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day. And leave a comment below telling me how you use Trello, how you plan on using Trello. And maybe you'll use it, you know, a month down the road and want to come back to this and leave a comment. Let's stick to some Trello comments on this. And, and it'll be interesting to see how everybody comes up with ideas on how to use this awesome feature. And I know that they did mention that they want to always make Trello free, available for free. So I don't see it ever, you know, charging unless you want to upgrade for customization features. But the basic version of Trello, all this stuff I have done is with free Trello, okay? It's amazing. That's why I haven't even bothered to upgrade to gold. I don't need fancy customization things like that, you know. What I've got is fine with me. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys later. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you think about this video. Tell me what you think about Trello. Please like, rate, subscribe. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much. And God bless.